Hi, I'm Lauren Anke, Vice President of Education and Public Programs at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum in Cleveland, Ohio. In 1987, Aretha Franklin was the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a fitting tribute to the Queen of Soul, the woman who for more than 50 years has been the expressive, passionate voice of soul music. Aretha Franklin is a masterful singer, pianist, performer, and arranger whose catalog of recordings highlights a brilliant versatility that spans many genres. Gospel, jazz, blues, pop standards, rock, funk, the list goes on. She breaks down barriers between styles of American music, showing us the connections between them across generations. In 1960, she signed a recording contract with Columbia Records, and in the first half of the decade recorded a series of albums that showcased her ability to sing jazz and pop. But she hit her stride in 1967 when she signed with Atlantic Records and began recording with producer Jerry Wexler. Her first album for Atlantic, I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You, was a masterpiece. Driven by Aretha's gospel piano and passionate vocals, the album defines soul music. It features perhaps her most famous song, Respect, which became an anthem for the civil rights movement and the women's movement. Along the way, Aretha Franklin became a powerful symbol of freedom, singing for the Southern Christian Leadership Council during the Civil Rights Movement, the inauguration of President Bill Clinton, and the inauguration of the first African-American president, Barack Obama. After Franklin's triumphs on Atlantic, she signed with Arista Records in 1980 and continued to record soul, pop, and funk hits like Jump To It, United Together, Freeway of Love, and I Knew You Were Waiting. Aretha Franklin has inspired millions of people around the world to sing, to speak, to climb higher mountains.